one meaning of this why is something exist and comma b means to perform and this perf means comma b to perform and ta means uh, tamba to complete something so what has a built-in meaning of a fixed time uh, in which something is performed and completed okay you have seen in my last uh, lecture the lesson two that uh, this symbol uh, this boat like symbol can mean something fixed uh, for instance, it can mean uh, something fixed like uh, time, which is uh, one dimensional, right? And then uh, this fixed symbol uh, is seen in this word sabit, sabit, which means fixed, and this uh, all these three letters have the fixed symbol, right? So it matches perfectly with the meaning of the fixed. Now, this symbol, this symbol, uh, which is found in these three letters, uh, is differentiated by the use of the A-jump system or this dot system of the Arabic, huh? the dot system, one, two, and three dots. And this three dot, as I found out, has uh, uh, meanings. It's not without meaning, it has meaning. Uh, so, ba with the single dot would mean just the beginning of something, bada, just to begin. Huh? And ta with the two dots would mean uh, something beginning and ending, for instance, as seen in the word tamma. And then sa with the three dots would mean a beginning and an end and then some. So you have three uh, things in there which is represented by the three dots. Summa. Summa means end then. Uh, in many cases, summa is translated as simply then, which is uh, incorrect actually. Uh, it proper translation is end then, means something was started, it ended, and then something else was started. So that is the proper meaning of the word summa. Now, Ta can also mean other things, such as a second person, a second person whom you can see, right? So, which is called muhatabun in Arabic, the second person. Uh, this is because in ta, is, the two dots is above the baseline, and uh, this look like two eyes uh, with which you see somebody uh, in front of you. So, the person is spoken to, or the second person is called muhatabun, uh, which is written by the word ta. As you can see in this word, anta, anti, antuma, Antum, Antuna, all of them mean you, but in different ways. Uh, for instance, Anta means you, but in the masculine uh, sense, right? And Anti means you, but in the feminine sense. So in Anti, you can see that the Kasra is below uh, the Ta. This is because the average height of the female uh, is less than the men. So men, uh, the average height is longer. So it makes sense that men would be represented by the Fatha, where and the female will be done by the kasra. Now, I'm going to explain to you the word antum and antunna with the single letter meaning. So, an, this alif nun, uh, has the meaning of a human group, which is actually a short for insan, right? Insan, uh, a human group. And then the ta is for second person marker, you already know this. And the meme is the male marker. And male marker means, in this case, marun, marun means a man. Uh, but uh, you see, because the meme is in the fourth position, so it would mean uh, plural, right? Plural, many men, uh, the meaning becomes. So, antum means you, but uh, in the sense of uh, men, plural. Huh? Similarly, antunna, uh, the an is for insan, right? A group of human. And, and then ta is the second person marker. And the nun is the female marker here. So, you can see it means feminine because nisa means uh, women okay this are means women so you can clearly understand that this uh, antunna means you but feminine either. all right the beauty of the arabic is that in this ta, this meaning that two meaning we have discussed so far one is the work or the time fixed time and then uh, the idea of a second person can be combined this is this is the another beauty that you can find this both this meaning in the same word for instance if you look at this word katata, which everybody of you know, I'm sure, means uh, you, 
wrote, right? Here, the ta is for the second person marker, and the mark for the completion of the action is shown by the sukun on the last letter that the action is being uh, done. So, katapta means the second person, right, who has done the work of writing, means you wrote, right? And on the other hand, so this, this uh, it also in, indicates the work is because the ta is placed after the verb. So the verb is gone, time is gone. So this means a past tense, you see? But if the verb is after the ta, means the person has not done yet or is doing, okay? Or is doing. So taktu, see ta before the verb would mean you write or you are writing or you will write, right? That the action has not been completed. And then the incompleteness of the action is shown by this sukun on the first uh, letter of the verb. If the sukun is present in the last letter, that would mean the action is uh, complete. Huh? Okay, so uh, yeah, these are the meanings of the letter ta. I'll be coming to you, inshallah, with uh, much more videos in the future uh, for the meaning of these different letters and the, these kind of short kind of videos. If you like these videos, uh, please subscribe, leave a like and make a comment and share. And uh, if you want more information, you can check out my books which are available from the books. And I'll be coming to you soon with many more videos, inshallah. Until then, Allah Hafiz.